This is happening right now. Apologies for everything I'm on my way to being completely drunk. I'm at an anniversary ball thing for a friend's company. They're having a silent auction to raise money for charity, and one of the items is an all-expense paid trip to a five-star resort in Cancun for two weeks for two people. Cancun, I cannot hear that word without thinking of the subreddit just no mother-in-law. Anyway, the sister of the guy who owns the company is getting married this Christmas and her future mother-in-law is going around all the tables telling people not to bid on the holiday as she wants to win it for her son. Super tacky, very embarrassing and most likely not helped by the open bar, but her heart is in the right place. I know her family isn't as well off as my friend and his sister's family, so I thought this was a way of her contributing to their wedding slash marriage. I thought her plan was to gift this holiday to the couple for their honeymoon. The sister has just sat down beside me at the bar, ordered the strong stuff and hovered off my cocktail. Conversation went as follows. Me? Problems? Sister. I'm gonna strangle the bee. Me. Aw oh, come on she means well and hey free holiday. Sister. Oh she doesn't want it for me and my future husband. Me. She's telling everyone she wants it for your future husband. I thought she was going to give it to you guys for your honeymoon. Don't tell me she's going to keep it for herself. Sister, nope, went to stop her telling everyone not to bid. In a nice way, you know, and told her my future husband, and I already have the honeymoon booked. Effing B said it's for her and her son to spend some alone time together after the wedding. I double-checked that's what future mother-in-law actually said because, you know, alcohol and you guys need a direct quote. Me, after almost wetting the self laughing, what does future husband think about that? Does he know mummy is trying to win him a romantic trip for the two of them? Sister, Boke. She's embarrassed him enough tonight, I'll tell him tomorrow. Me fuck that, I'm telling him now. She talked me out of it. So I made a bid so the two of us can go instead. Now we're posting here and drinking French martinis. Update. Sorry I didn't give you an update last night. I got pretty drunk and actually forgot I'd posted anything. A peace offering for leaving you waiting so long, sorry for the quality. It's a combination of a terrible camera, terrible light, and a moving target. I do want to say that this isn't really a mother-in-law in the wild. I've sort of known this woman for a while and she's always been a bit wacky and dramatic. For example, her now husband, future father-in-law, and my mum went to school together and dated for about a month when they were 13 or 14. Q15 or so years later, my mum has lived in Australia for a decade and moved back to Scotland bringing my dad with her. Future father-in-law was left at the altar and married his rebound girl, future mother-in-law. The first time my mum met this woman she warned my mum off her husband. She called her a shut and told her to stay away from future father-in-law. Fast forward over 25 years and future mother-in-law claims that never happened and that she and my mum are best of friends. The woman is completely insane. On to what happened after my post. The future mother-in-law did not win the trip. Neither did I. The boyfriend of my mate who runs the company that we were celebrating last night won it. He's planning on proposing out there. I'm rather glad he got it. They're a sweet couple. The future husband was told about what his mum was doing in her plans for him, which resulted in a very drunk screaming match in the hotel lobby. I thought it was great entertainment and spent most of the fight telling the sister, that's the woman your kids will call granny. She was less than impressed. I believe my company owner mate's reaction was, oh, it's just so tacky. Unfortunately, no one got it on video. I stayed the night at the hotel along with quite a few other guests, so we got to hear the encore a few hours later when the future mother-in-law, still drunk, crying with her dress falling down, strapless gown that she'd been pulling up all night, started banging on all the hotel doors looking for her son and his girlfriend, my mate's sister from last night. I heard at breakfast that she made it through two floors, wailing at everyone's door before she found them, about five doors down from me. Guys, I wasn't even subtle about spying on them. I was still drunk so I basically stood outside my door watching with a bottle of water and a bag of crisps. She was screaming the usual at them. You're taking away my baby. Why don't you love me anymore? Threats to not pay for things slash off herself slash disown him. It lasted about five minutes before the hotel staff told me to go back to my room and escorted her away. I found out at breakfast that she was asked to leave but future father-in-law talked them out of it. She was rather quiet at breakfast and most people were ignoring her. She did however try to recruit me to be her spy by basically shouting down the table to her son, if you were marrying OP instead, I'm sure she wouldn't try to keep you away from me. Guys, I actually laughed in her face. 
I admit I was mostly laughing at the idea of me marrying her son, but I was laughing at the entire statement. She was not happy and actually rang my mother to tell her I had been rude to her. I'm 25 years old, my mum couldn't give an S. Update. Well, the couple got married and it was just as bad as we expected. I may post about it later if my friend, the now daughter-in-law, doesn't. So on to my actual post. It's important to note that the person who won the trip to Cancun is the daughter-in-law's brother's boyfriend. Essentially her brother-in-law, but I'm going to stick to calling him boyfriend to enforce the fact that he is basically a perfect stranger to the mother-in-law. As I mentioned in the original Slash Update posts, I actually know this particular mother-in-law in the wild. However, I don't have Facebook, so I had no idea this crap show was happening until my brother sent me screenshots of this. The mother-in-law posted saying, I just want to give a big thank you to daughter-in-law's brother for giving his new baby brother and his new mother a holiday to Mexico. So blessed to have such kind sons to look after me and spend some mother and son time with my baby. Yes, she is calling her daughter-in-law's brother her son, and yes, she's thanking him for giving her and her son a trip to Mexico. I didn't think much of it other than does daughter-in-law know her brother is paying for her husband to go to Mexico with his mother? And does daughter-in-law's brother know he's paying for his sister's mother-in-law and husband to go to Mexico? The answer to both was no. Daughter-in-law saw this post on Facebook and called her brother to find out what was going on. To say his flabber was gasted is an understatement, Mother-in-law had PM'd him about an hour before her post telling him that he should give his holiday to Mexico to the husband and that he was selfish for not giving it to him for his marriage. Daughter-in-law's brother responded by calling her rude for demanding anything and pointed out that it isn't his holiday. His boyfriend won the holiday, not him. Mother-in-law then called him selfish again and told him that he makes enough money and doesn't need it. We think she's trying to say that he can afford his own holiday. He told her again that it wasn't his holiday to give away and not to contact him again. He then blocked her. So she basically is trying to get the boyfriend of someone who won a holiday to give her and her son said holiday. Asking is effing rude enough, but she's not even asking the person who won the holiday in the first place. Daughter-in-law called her future husband and told him to deal with his mother before she did. I don't know what was said, but mother-in-law deleted her post and posted this instead. It says, I just love my children so much. I only want to do good for them, but it's never enough. That was deleted too.